This is Duke University. When I go to campuses, when I meet students, when I see entrepreneurs, um, they're, they're more sophisticated, they're more informed, they're more connected, they're more aware, all of these things. Um, so it is not just brand new. You know, it's not the first business model, not the first investor, not the first. Um, and so that, that in and of itself is progress. Um, I think the other thing that we figured out is that there is a there there, uh, meaning uh, no one is questioning whether or not there's a way to combine kind of business and impact to make change. Uh, so it's not a whether, it's a how. It's a what does it look like, what's the texture, what are the trade-offs, where's the leverage, what do you really mean by that? Um, but I think a few years ago it was, what is this thing? What do those investors care about? And what would you expect them to care about? Um, by and large, investors are much more comfortable um, talking about the financial and operational and holding people accountable for their financial operational first. And it's challenging because what we know is if you mess up on the financial and operational, you have no impact. If you are not a going concern that's serving customers, you have not made any change in the world. So the investors are right to say you have got to get this right. Um, at the same time, if you're motivated by social purpose and you don't have a conversation and a dialogue and an open channel with your provider of capital about the change you're trying to make, then you're not actually all in it for the same reasons. So it really needs to be both of these things together. Um, and that's why this is, you know, this is why it's challenging and complex work. At Acumen, we think of uh, impact across three dimensions, breadth, depth, and focus on the poor. So breadth means how many people are being reached. Depth means how much does a product or service improve their lives. And focus on the poor, because we care about poverty, we want to understand whether or not a product or service is reaching poor customers. In the last two years, we have created something that we call lean data. And the idea of lean data is to take advantage of the revolution in technology and mobile phones to go directly to end customers, to ask them what matters to them, and ask them whether a product or a service is changing their lives. Um, <clears throat> so we've done lean data with uh, 14 of our companies uh, over the last 18 months, and we have found you know, really incredible things. Uh, we can do a project in a matter of weeks, not months or years. We can do a project for a few thousand dollars, not a few hundred thousand or a few million. Uh, and most importantly, we can measure impact in a way that's directly creating value for customers and for entrepreneurs. And it feels like that's the bar we need to hit, because those are the stakeholders that matter in this equation more than the investors and more than the providers of capital. Um, and so we're trying to measure impact in a way that creates value for the people who are kind of doing the work. I guess my belief about impact investing is that all of the early movers in this space came into the space because we believed we could make real change in the world. And I'm confident that we're making real change. At the same time, we have not done enough to put the tools in place to understand exactly what that change looks like. Um, is it as much as it could be? Where are we having more impact? Where are we having less impact? So I th we are now ready for this next stage in our own evolution. And as much as the conversation is often about capital and forms of capital and amount of capital, um, I think we have it in ourselves to have a conversation about change and the amount of change and the type of change. And so my hope is that rather than um, impact measurement and lean data seeming like an accountability mechanism that is going to put people on their back foot, um, I hope it, seems, comes, um, it feels like an offering to say, here's a set of tools that will allow us to discover if we're doing everything we set out to do. Um, and so I hope it um, increasingly has felt like an invitation for us to really understand what we're doing at a much deeper level.